Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Yuri Rauswab and Evgeny Sveshnikov that was played in Moscow in 1995. Rauswab had white pieces and he started with d4. Sveshnikov played d5. c4, e6, knight to f3, and c6. So we have queen's gambit declined. White played knight from b to d2. The most popular move in this position is knight to c3. Okay, so we have knight from b to d2, knight to f6, and g3. Again, e3 is the most popular move. g3 was played, knight from b to d7, and now you would think that bishop to g2 would be played. That is actually the most popular move in this position, but it uh, looks like that Rauswev likes to play less popular moves. So he played queen to c2. And now, very interesting move from black. b5, attacking pawn on c4. And how should white capture? Should he take pawn on b5 or on d5? What do you think? Or perhaps something else? If c takes on b5, then c takes on b5, bishop would go to b7 and rook to c8, and black would be okay. So white played c5, e5, immediately attacking. d takes on e5, attacking knight, and knight to g4. So black is attacking pawn on e5, and also one on c5 b4, defending in his uh, c5 pawn. And now black captured with knight fr from d on e5. I am sure that he later regretted this and next time he would capture with g knight. What's the difference? Well, let's have a look. So knight from d takes on e5, bishop to b2, Knight takes on f3, and if white captured with knight, black would be okay. He would play a5. But in the game, white captured with pawn. So there was no time for a5. Knight to f6 was played, and knight to b3 preventing a5. But surprise, surprise. Black still decided to play a5. He was hoping for this variation. Knight takes on a5. Rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes check. And after queen to d2, queen takes queen, king takes queen, bishop takes on c5. But I would still prefer to be white after a4. Anyway, White wanted to avoid this variation, and he played a4, making the game even more complicated. Now, a takes on b4, a takes on b5, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, and now it is black to move, and he would like to capture pawn on b5, but that is not a very good idea. If pawn takes pawn on b5, then bishop takes check, and there is a problem. For example, bishop to d7, c6, and black is losing his bishop, unless he wants to lose his queen. Okay, so in this position, bishop to e7, and b6. White has protected pass pawn. Black castled kingside. And now, white doesn't want to play bishop to g2. He would like to play something like bishop to e2. But then bishop to h3 would be played. He can't castle. So he played h4. d4, bishop to c4, knight to d5. Bishop takes on d4, 
rook to e8 threatening something like bishop takes on c5 and white surely considered castling but he didn't because of this continuation the bishop takes on h4 and if pawn takes queen takes and the white king is not comfortable at all so white played king to f1 bishop to f6 but uh, white doesn't mind to exchange bishops because he is a pawn up and he has a protected pass pawn queen takes on f6 bishop takes knight pawn takes bishop white has two pass pawns pawn on f3 is under attack so king to g2 d4 rook to d1 bishop to f5 attacking queen queen to b2 this is very difficult position for black in this position black could have resigned but he continued with this move bishop to h3 check king takes queen takes on f3 maybe he was hoping for rook to e2 queen to c2 was played now this doesn't work at all if rook to e2 then knight takes on d4 for king queen and rook so d3 was played queen takes on d3 black captured pawn on f2 but then he resigned possible continuation could be oh maybe just the cute one is this one b7 uh, let's say black makes this move h6 to make room for his king then even rook to f1 and after queen to a2 c6 if queen comes to help then queen to d5 threatening queen takes on f7 if rook to f8 c7 threatening c8 and white would get a brand new queen that was a very nice game wasn't it hmm. and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now